Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the, I think, fourth episode of my new series, Hawk from the Past. Yes, finally I'm able to say the actual name in the show, because this is the first episode that I'm actually producing after I've released the first one. But still very, very early. So, I've just released the first episode. By the time you are seeing this, a month has already passed. That's interesting to notice here. Anyway, we have just finished the year 2008. Off to the next year, 2009. That was when I noticed a problem. I have not released a single hack in that year. Not one. I've released three in 2008 and a whole plethora in 2010, but none of them in 2009. Which is quite interesting to notice, because 2009 was the year I started Sonic Eraser. So I had to make a deal with myself. What do I do now? And I've decided to go through all folders of my past, which trust me, there are hundreds of copies of disassemblies and the likes. And I've tried to find the earliest version of Sonic Eraser that I still have. I have started this game, uh, I think, in February of 2009. And this version right here is from the 10th of April. So this version is about two months old. And I just decided, meh, let's give it a shot. It's not too special, I'm afraid. I was hoping to get more done. But you gotta understand... Two months down the line, there isn't much. Plus, the first version was just a random mess. This is really just to give you an example of how much the game has developed over time. So then, let's start. Okay. Selby Presence, that's very boring. Oh. Might be familiar with this. It says right there, Selby 29. And there we have it. Our, uh, well, I don't know. The first version of the, the main menu, so to say. Very boring back then. Welcome to S1 Eraser. Start game, start in special stage, title screen, level select, credits, by me. Yeah, <laughs> this is hilarious, by the way. I had no idea how to move this 80 up there. And so this looked rather weird, but pff, whatever. Well, let's have a look at it. <sighs> Familiar, some people. So, to those who don't know, Sonic Eraser is actually built upon <laughs> my previous... Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot that. Um, maybe I should talk first. Sonic Eraser is built upon the hack I've shown you last time, Sonic 1 Project 255. Uh, in the sense that I've taken this shit over there that was not stolen and built upon it. So we got basically a hack that was total garbage and I've built a not so shitty hack upon of it. Well, that's what I hope at least. So let's see if this works already. If it does what I think it does, it should be a... Um... Not going as expected, I think. Oh, it doesn't work yet. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. But it doesn't matter. Ah, I had no idea the Inhuman mode was this early in the processing development. So, what do we have up here? Static monitors! Let me guess. They... Do not do... Oh, what's up there? Oh, shame. I wanted to know. <gasps> hey, maybe I can do this. Yeah, I've got no remembrance about this stuff, really. It's been so long in the past. Also, I've just noticed that even though the art has been there for the hut, I have not changed the E yet. That's interesting. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, damn, it doesn't work. Oh, now I'm stuck. I'm fucking stuck. 
Well, that did not go as expected. Just jump over this part because I want to see if I made the boss already, the crab meat boss. Oh yes. So, by the way, this was the original intention of the human mode. This got restricted a lot in the final version and it kind of makes me sad because it was fun, really. This, this bullshit was just ridiculously fun. Oh, it doesn't have it here. Homing attack on the giant ring. Well, that's something. Well, let's see what we got in this passage stage. If I changed it already to this non-rotating thing. Oh, I did actually. And yeah, you can still see... It didn't look nearly as pretty back then. Because I directly edited the actual special stage instead of completely redoing it. I also know that these diamonds are gone in the past in the last version. Oh, we got two emeralds still there. It's pretty short, sta uh, pretty short stage. Well, that was rather interesting. Now, if this is a stage, yep, it is. This stage right here, I did not make it. I had a friend do it for me, or rather, he made the stage, and I had the. Um, the privilege to copy it to this hack, basically as a uh, makeshift. So the idea is, go into the spring, keep pressing down, and yeah, you got a self-playing level. So that's about one minute of me holding the down button, and this happens. <laughs> so did I change the second special stage yet? I don't think so. Yeah, this is unchanged. Cannot go up there, so might as well just drop out here. <sighs> yeah, fast forward, whatever. Oh yeah, I've just noticed the monitors actually still have it. Uh, they have the... Um, well, the final artwork already. Oh, nice. So breakable walls. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. But, wow, it's like a hat. Are you shitting me? <gasps> oh, now let's see how far. Oh, yes, if it's the boss that I think it is. <laughs> wow, look at that spike ball. That was the first, I think makeshift until I decided to simply take the balls from um, what's the name scrap brain on because those look much fucking better eh. well at least we got the wonderfully placed checkpoint over there let's try that again now the thing is, I don't have double jump in this version yet, and that pisses me off, because without double jump, this is much harder. Also, I forgot to collect any rings. Well... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, let's fast forward this again, shall we? Ah, finally. Now, well, this has been boring. I expected a little bit more, but this version is really, really young. So, that has been Green Hill Zone. I actually don't know what else is there yet. Will we go directly to Marble Zone? Hmm, I sure hope so. But I don't know. Hot Ground Place, oh yeah. Mmm! My wonderful talent for pellets has never ceased to be. Oh, Christ. But you can still see how this has been pretty much inspired for the final design all the way up to until the end. Except that I've eventually removed all grass. I don't even remember why I did that, but whatever. Oh yeah, the fire is black. The, the lava. Okay, you know what? Let's see what we have in the level select. Oh yeah, look at the background. <laughs> Sonic X Salvi. Yeah, 
No. Old Stone Place. Mm-hmm. Nope. Hot ground, we've just been there. Nightlife. Why does it have the hilltop zone music? Also, yeah, you can see I still have the stolen pellets from Mega Mix in here. I've basically removed the stolen content over time. Ever so slightly. Okay, next we got the party. Yep, still has the stolen pellet. <sighs> Devex station, I think that's supposed to be. Yep, station. Oh, yeah, this intro. Hilarious. Get a one up and then you die. <laughs> because why the fuck not? So, whoop-a-doo. Final round. Oh, I fucking love this music. I'll see. <gasps> yeah, wait, wait, wait a minute. I gotta check something. So we get rings right here, but... Yeah, this one still kills me. I, th I don't even know why I did that. I positioned a uh, monitor in there and made a check so to... Basically, when you're in the final stage and hit this Eggman monitor, you will die. And I can apparently walk up here. Can I go in here yet? No. But I remember that you will be able to do so in a later build. The oh, you can actually. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, whatever. Now this spring right here, this is bullshit. It visually doesn't seem to be up there, but it is. And this part here is bullshit even further. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just... Yeah. I've never been a great game designer, I'm afraid. Now, how the fuck do I do this again? Yep. <sighs> this again. At least we don't have the wall in the top left anymore. But we have the increased damage done. It... It... What? It moved upwards. It fucking moved upwards. Are you shitting me? Are you fucking shitting me right now? Ah, oh, whatever. Let's go to the... I think action stage is... Yeah, fuck that. Let's go to the end. Uh-huh. We get hints to the final version all over the place. And see, right there. You see, the cliff has always been here, but you did not fall off originally. That was because I didn't remove the speed cap until way, way later. And when I first noticed this, then he was obviously running too fast and fell off. That was never intentional. But it was so hilarious to watch that I've decided to make it feature in the final game. You're off screen. Well, thanks for playing. <laughs> I love these broken replays. Presented by Selp E. Holy shit! Huh. Well, that has been... interesting. Not as interesting as I had hoped, actually. Well... This has been Sonic Eraser. First ever built. Or rather, the oldest build I still own. <sighs> Not really much to say yet, actually. I was hoping for more. I was really hoping for more. You know what? I've been lying to you when I said I haven't released anything in 2009. I did. Though not officially. And of course, I've prepared this episode to lead up to just that because I got